We are going to start a new chapter of biology class 7 that is excretion in humans. Currently, I am using the book called the Selina publication. If you are using the another book such as R.S. Agarwal, Goyal Brothers publication, you can also view this video. So, let me start the session, excretion in humans. So, first, let me learn what is meant by the term excretion. So we know that different metabolic activities take place in our body and during those metabolic activities our body produces many substances which may be useful and not useful means not required right so if retired in our body these unuseful things if there is stored in our body okay it becomes poisonous it becomes poisonous that's the reason they should be removed so for removing these unwanted substance, toxic substance are carried out by excretory organs. Okay, what are excretory organs? Excretory organs are those organs which remove the unwanted or toxic substance. Now what is excretion? Excretion is a process of removal of unwanted harmful metabolic waste substances in our bodies known as excretion. So here you need to remember one key point. Excretory organs means it is an organ which remove the unwanted toxic substance. Okay. And excretion means excretion is a process. Process means a work of removing removing unwanted and harmful metabolic waste substances is known as excretion. Excretory organ excretion are interrelated. Okay. But the definition keyword are changing between excretory organ and excretion. Now going on to the subst substances that must be excreted Sub means substances which are unuseful that need to be removed from our body right the first is of urea and uric acid so these are nitrogenous waste right so these are nitrogenous waste these are very harmful they are produced as a result of breakdown of excessive amino salt amino acid in the liver due to the breakdown of amino acid this urea and uric acid is formed right so if this is accumulated if this is stored this urea and uric acid it may causes the many many harmful disease the next is of bile pigment which is also a very very thing very very bad thing that must be removed so this is also one of the substances that must be excreted this is formed in the liver okay this is a yellowish thing to the urine so uh, urine is yellow the reason is that due to the bile pigment Excess of bile pigment become harmful. It's there are they are removed from our body. Next is water. So we drink the plenty of water, but uh, plenty of water also need to be excreted, right? So this water also help in removal of uric and uric acid. There is nothing but nitrogenous waste. So excess of water should also be removed. That is all about the water, and that is all they given in the next page also. Now coming to the fourth substance that must be removed, excreted, that is of extra salt. So we know that what is the symbol of salt, that is of NaCl, in which sodium and chlorine elements are produced, are there. So sodium and chlorine ions or any other ions are needed in our body only in certain proportions, right? In this, in certain limits, right? Any extra quantity must be removed. Extra salt are expelled along with the urine, right? Urine also contains the salt because uh, we should remove this salt. So that's the reason. Extra vitamins. So the vitamins absorbed by our body. Okay, vitamins are absorbed by our body. But excess of vitamins should be removed. The fat soluble ones are stored in the body to the some extent. But the extra water soluble ones such as vitamin B, C are passed out in the urine. So the fat soluble, fat soluble are stored in the body at some limit, at some extent. But the water soluble which can easily soluble in the water go along with the urine such as vitamin B and C are passed around the urine. So similarly certain medicines including antibiotics if taken extra quantity are passed along with the urine because these are uh, what antibiotics medicines are water soluble that's the reason they passed away in our what urine so what is excretion simple excretion is removal of toxins and unwanted metabolic waste that are produced in our body excretory organ 
yes i told you you can comment on the comment section so what is excretory excretory system let me learn about excretory system excretory organ excretory system is one and all same okay so this excretory system is also known as renal excretory system it consists of pair of kidneys two ureters urinary bladder and urethra so let me learn about the kidneys first kidneys are the reddish brown bead shaped kidneys associated towards the back of abdomen one on either side of backbone okay so this kidney first point these are reddish brown bead shaped this is the structure this is the shape and color reddish brown bead shaped kidney bead shaped okay so these are situated where they are located back of the abdomen back of the abdomen means where one on either side of backbone at the level of last two ribs okay so you can see where is the kidney located back of abdomen this is the image of the back of abdomen and either side of the backbone right uh, so the right kidney right kidney is slightly located lower than the left one means this is a right kidney which is slightly located lower this is slightly located lower than the left kidney okay now this is all about the kidney now coming to the uter these are running from kidney to the urinary bladder that's clear urinary bladder where is urinary bladder this is a bladder which is called as urinary bladder it's a muscular bag situated in lower abdomen okay lower abdomen means here you can see this image right here is the situation of urinary bladder coming to the urethra so here is the urethra urethra leading from the urinary bladder which is coming from the urinary bladder is a single median tube called urethra so from this urethra only urine passes out of along the body in the males it is longer it is longer in males and shorter in females great this is all about the urethra uh, next coming to the structure of the kidney so internally each kidney is composed of outer dark region called cortex so this is of cortex here they have marked this is of cortex and the kidneys is located with the inner light region called medulla so here is the inner light thing that is of medulla this medulla drains the urine into the funnel like structure called as the renal pelvis so here what the pelvis renal pelvis is present so this medulla drains the urine into this renal pelvis so this ureter also originate from this renal pelvis so here is the renal pelvis as a shown so these are the ureter which are originating from this white color renal pelvis these are the ureter and this is the renal pelvis now coming to these nephrons what is nephron nephron is a structural and functional unit of kidney inside the kidney there are millions of microscopic tubular structure called renal tubes or nephrons each nephron starts from a complex structure called bromine capsule where is the bromine capsule located here is the capsule like structure which is called a bromine capsule from these only these nephrons starts okay uh, which continues behind behind as a narrow tubule which it continues backward as a narrow tubule the tubule is is twisted and open into a collecting duct okay this is a collecting duct which is twisted and open into this collecting ducts right all the collecting ducts then open into the renal pelvis which led to the ureter right this is again connected to the renal pelvis and thus led to the and less lead to the ureter okay what is nephron then nephron is a structural and functional unit of kidney so this is what we have learned in this video and in the next part of video we will start role of kidney urine urine filtration still then stay tuned